A few weeks ago saw the launch of Intel's 4th Gen Xeon CPUs, offering numerous updates and advantages over the 3rd generation and promising significant performance uplift. So we're going to take an in-depth look into the range and their new features. So if this is a useful and interesting subject for you, then give us a like, a follow and subscribe. So as with the previous generation, there are four main families, platinum, gold, silver and bronze. And they're built on a 7 nanometer process and benefit from high throughput, low latency performance delivered through a new CPU architecture supporting eight channels of DDR5 memory, 80 lanes of PCIe 5, CXL 1.1, as well as Intel Optate persistent memory technology. Support for DDR5 memory and PCIe 5 gives significant gen-on-gen -gen increases in performance as they both support much faster data throughput. CXL is an alternate protocol that runs across the standard PCIe physical layer and can support both standard PCIe and CXL devices on the same link. CXL provides the capability to create a unified coherent memory space between CPUs and accelerators and promises to revolutionize how data center server architectures will be built. Similarly, Optane Persistent Memory Support offers the opportunity to increase server memory capacity whilst lowering the total cost of ownership as opposed to solely using DRAM. Although these advancements make the 4th gen Xeon CPUs deliver greater performance at data center scale, it's the development and integration of workload-specific instructions and accelerators that drive performance in high-demand areas such as AI, analytics, networking, storage and HPC. The instructions are bundled up into Intel AMX Advanced Matrix extensions. The four purpose-built Intel accelerators are IAA, standing for In-Memory Analytics Accelerator, DSA, meaning Data Streaming Accelerator, DLB, which is Dynamic Load Balancer, and QAT, Quick Assist Technology. Intel AMX is the next generation of deep learning boost and improves the performance of deep learning training and inference in conjunction with dedicated hardware, such as GPUs and FPGAs. It's ideal for AI workloads like natural language processing, recommendation systems and image recognition. Intel IAA allows you to run database and analytics faster with potentially greater power and efficiency. It increases query throughput by performing computationally demanding scan and filter operations in place of cores. It also decreases the memory footprint for in-memory database and big data analytics and it's ideal for in-memory databases, open source databases and data stores. Intel DSA is designed to offload the most common data movement tasks that cause overhead in data center scale deployments. It helps to speed up data movements across the CPU, memory and caches, as well as all attached memory, storage and network devices, driving high performance for storage, for networking and data intensive workloads. Intel DLB enables the efficient distribution of network processing across multiple CPU cores and threads and dynamically distributes network data across multiple CPU cores for processing as the system load varies. Intel DLB also restores the order of networking data packets processed simultaneously on CPU cores. And finally, Intel QAT helps to reduce system resource consumption by providing accelerated cryptography key protection and data compression. By offloading encryption and decryption, this built-in accelerator helps to free up processor cores and helps systems serve a larger number of clients by lowering latency, improving usability, reducing platform design and implementation overhead, and supporting advanced virtualization capabilities. These accelerators address the fact that not all server loads are equally demanding and that they require different processing types to complete them. With this in mind, the fourth gen of Xeon scalable CPUs introduce a new naming structure to define each model's capabilities. Listed are the core counts and clock speeds alongside the TDP. The new addition is the list of accelerators, DSA, IAA, QAT and DLB, each in a number 0 to 4, depending on what the focus of each particular CPU model is. Several of the CPU models also show speed selection technology performance profile, known as SSTPP. 
This allows you to disable some of the CPU cores and increase the clock frequency of the remaining cores if that suits your workloads better. As a number of accelerators and intended purpose differ per CPU, Intel has split them into use case groups to make selection easier. Outside of the general purpose and performance models, these categories include liquid cooled, single socket, long life, analytics, networking, cloud and storage. The table indicates the number of different accelerators that each speciality group gets and also indicates where advanced 4-socket and 8-socket server configurations are available too. You'll also see here that each use case has a letter to indicate the speciality. These suffix letters then feed into the overall naming convention of the CPUs. And it's worth mentioning that the 4th Gen Xeon family does contain a single bronze model. However, it is a single socket only CPU and supports PCIe 4 rather than the faster PCIe 5. Also, there are several platinum and gold performance max SKUs that are equipped with high bandwidth memory. This is integrated via the multi-tile architecture to accelerate workloads such as HPC. These max processors contain up to 64 gigabytes of HBM2E memory and dramatically boost bandwidth available to the CPU, delivering significant performance acceleration for memory bandwidth sensitive workloads. So although Intel has categorized the CPUs into groups based on the broad usage, what specific workloads did these cover? Well, the data center workloads are divided into the five types with AI-centric projects, such as NLP and machine learning, being supported and accelerated by Intel AMX. Data analytics is accelerated by Intel IAA and DSA, driving performance in data-centric workflows such as big data analytics and warehousing. And when it comes to networking and storage tasks, the CPUs use Intel QAT, DLB and DSA to accelerate security encryption and virtualization with respect to 5G radio networks, data management and content delivery. Finally, HPC is accelerated by Intel, AMX and DSA to increase performance of CFD, simulations and modelling applications. In addition, there are a number of other key features that enable specific workloads. For example, manufacturing workflows can be consolidated whilst helping meet stringent latency requirements by using Intel Resource Director technology, referred to as RDT. This allocates cache, memory and higher core frequencies to high priority apps, whilst Intel Edge Insights for Industrial or Intel EII help speed the time to implement defect detection and other factory automation applications. Similarly, the Xeon Max models with integrated HBM offer significant performance gains for use with demanding tasks such as HPC. Running a large number of virtual machines is also possible in hyper-converged infrastructures with efficient core utilization and power consumption. Fourth gen Xeon processors built in accelerators speed up encryption, data compression, and data movement between nodes, promoting optimal use of CPU and power resources. Adding Intel Optane persistent memory can affordably increase memory capacity as data sets grow, allowing more VMs at a similar system cost whilst further boosts in networking, storage and compute performance can be achieved by offloading heavy tasks to an Intel Infrastructure Processing Unit card or Intel IPU. These various accelerators are further supported by security features pioneered in the third gen Xeon CPUs, such as Intel Software Guard extensions that help protect data in use via unique application isolation technology, SGX as it's known by, passes the OS and virtual machine software layers, providing significant additional protection against many of these kinds of attacks, and adds data security whilst addressing the need for more confidential computing. It provides a hardware-based security solution that utilizes encryption to change how memory is accessed, providing enclaves of protected memory to run your application and its data. Intel SGX also allows you to seek verification of the application, and the hardware it's running. Also new for this latest generation of Xeon CPUs is Intel On Demand. This recognizes that server usage may change over time and it may be beneficial to unlock further accelerator capability with your CPU or CPUs as time goes on and your workloads evolve and change. For a single payment, you can take advantage of suites of accelerator at any time during CPU ownership. 
Additionally, on CPU models where the SGX encryption capability is below 512GB, a one-off payment will also increase this to the maximum level. Finally, we'll also just mention that Intel will offer servicing and support for the fourth gen of Xeon scalable CPUs for a period of seven years, including security updates, after which time these updates will cease unless a further optional three-year support plan is taken out. So there you have it, an in-depth look at the new Intel Xeon scalable 4th gen server CPU family. I do hope that you found this video helpful, but if you do have any questions at all, please leave us a comment below. And look out for another Xeon 4th gen video coming soon, where we'll take a look further into the specific CPU use cases and workload groups to help you choose the best options for you. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out, and I'll see you here next time.